Protesters have laid out exactly what they say needs to happen to end the three-month demonstration in Caledonia. Representing the group occupying a housing development site, Skylar Williams says they're ready to stay throughout the winter unless the federal government agrees to talk and condemns violence by police. Dale McDuck Duck has the story. In between the dug-up asphalt, the wooden barricade and a fleet of OPP cruisers stood Skylar Williams. Meaningful negotiations need to happen, for sure. I think uh, a condemnation of OPP violence, absolutely, those things need to happen. They need to happen 97 days ago. The OPP says that in response to cruisers being damaged by protesters two days ago, they fired a round of rubber bullets and a taser was used. Like they don't announce first that these are rubber bullets that we're firing. I had to pull uh, taser darts from my brother's back. The group 1492 Land Back Lane wants the OPP to stand down. This, this is that, this, absolutely we want them to pull back. This is not necessary. All of this isn't necessary, and I think we've been saying that from the very start. Williams says the federal government is dragging its feet when it comes to engaging in dialogue. Mark Miller has reached out to me once to say that he wants to have that happen, and then nothing. Carolyn Bennett has yet to reach out. He says both the federal Indigenous services and Crown Indigenous relations ministers have had every opportunity to make sure the ongoing protest didn't happen. It is their responsibility to do that. And I thought by the appointing of a Crown Indigenous relations minister that this was going to be the mechanics behind all of the law that says that that duty to consult needs to be upheld. When asked for comment today, the office of Carolyn Bennett sent CHCH News the same statement they sent on August 23rd with the paragraphs in different order. The first paragraph on August 23rd was moved to the last paragraph today and the last paragraph from two months ago now appears up top. Reading, we believe the best way to resolve outstanding issues is through a respectful and collaborative dialogue. When pressed on the similar statements, the minister's office refused to comment. Williams says the invitation to talk isn't just for government, it's for the people of Caledonia or anyone who wants to engage. I'm more than willing to, to break bread with anybody, to have those conversations, to have that dialogue so that everybody understands what it is that we, we're here for. Guy Bisson and his daughter Sophia drove from Hamilton and approached the demonstrators to learn about their perspective. Sophia's in grade nine and mm -hmm. we've been following it on the news lately and we yeah. thought, uh, you know, we should come out and have a look at it. We, uh, we had a good conversation with him and he was able to uh, express uh, the view of, the, of, the, of those who are protesting and um, frankly it makes a lot of sense. The protest is a land claim dispute over a housing development site in which Six Nations elected council agreed to and were compensated for. Yesterday, they put out this statement reading in part, we are bound to the agreement, but please know that we have learned from it. We commit to you that we can and will do better. They've came, come to an understanding that they've uh, seen the air in their ways. It was a deal of either you take the, take the money and development can roll on, or you don't take the money and development goes on. Asked a comment about the residents stuck in between the protesters' barricade and the OPP's barricade, William says the relationship is good. He says he speaks to one of them almost daily and that he helped facilitate getting his hydro back online after it went down the night protesters lit a hydro pole on fire. Back to you.